Hello and welcome to MedHead, your medical studies guide in Europe. So today we have Mr. Peter Zawatsky, the proprietor of MedHead, and he will be giving us all this insight about studying in Czech Republic uh, medicine. The medicine is available in multiple countries throughout Europe, so it's a common study that international students generally come to study. But uh, Czech Republic is one of the popular destinations because of uh, the fees as well as the location and so on. So Mr. Zawatsky, thank you for joining us in the video, firstly. Thank you very much. And uh, give us some insight about studying in general in Czech Republic. How is it? Yeah, so Czech Republic is a country in the centrum of Europe and it has a population of around 11 million uh, people and it's part of the European Union, uh, Schengen Zone, uh, NATO, all the big international organization. So right. basically what it means that when you finish your education, your degree is automatically recognized uh, in uh, European Union and like in many other countries abroad. All right, all right. So, so yeah, it has this like super high valuable degree, I guess. And yeah, also, definitely, definitely. Yeah, and how is the scenario with like international students in Czech Republic? Is it like friendly for international students? Are there a lot of them going there? Yeah, definitely. There are like thousands of international students. Yeah. Definitely, medicine, dentistry, uh, pharmacy are really popular among the international students okay. and each year uh, definitely hundreds of new international students are coming. All right and um, and what are the universities that are offering this like how many universities do we have in Czech Republic that are offering medicine for internationals in English? Yes yeah, so definitely everyone knows uh, Charles University. Yep this. everyone knows because it's like ranking is like always on the top in QS so yeah it's yeah, quite famous it's it's uh, among top uh, 250 uh, universities worldwide yeah. uh, this university has five faculties uh, that offer English uh, study program general medicine English okay it's really interesting and uh, then there is Palatsky University and right. Masaryk University so okay. these two have one uh, faculty of medicine. Okay, and the five faculties that you mentioned of Czech Republic, uh, sorry, Charles University, this is actually like five specializations for medicine? No, no, yeah, everywhere the, it's the same general medicine, okay. it's the same dental medicine, Okay. but uh, each faculty is like autonomous organization. Oh yeah. It uh, has the, its own accreditation, it has its um, own syllabuses, admission process, everything is special for each of these faculties. All right, all right. Thank you for that insight. And uh, let's get into details a bit about like uh, the offerings. So there, as you mentioned, there is dental medicine, um, there is uh, general medicine. So these are the two courses offered in uh, these universities. Mm -hmm. How does it look in terms of like the fees, if we speak, fees, ranking of these universities and so on? Yeah, so as uh, mentioned, the highest ranked university is Charles yep. University. Then we have Palatsky University, which is uh, in top uh, 650 uh, okay. worldwide, according to QS. And then there is Masaryk University, which is around uh, 550 uh, worldwide. Uh, when we speak about fees, uh, it's uh, the cheapest, it's Palatsky University, which is in Olomouc. Okay. A uh, nice uh, city uh, in Moravia, that's uh, 12,500 uh, 12, euros. Per year? Per one year, so totally okay. you need to study six years. And then you have uh, the most expensive is in Charles University in Prague. Uh, in first and second uh, faculty, that's uh, 500,000 uh, uh, Czech crowns, luckily. Okay. Oh, all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> and uh, so if we calculate uh, 25 Czech crowns for one euro, uh, approximately you get um, 20,000 euros for oh one God. year. All right, okay. <laughs> Make sure your budget is good when you're planning to study medicine. <laughs> yeah, like uh, I think a lot of students take also these uh, like uh, student loans and study loans and so on, mm. finance options to like study medicine most of the cases. So I think it should be fine if they are planning to study anyways medicine. What mm. about the dental medicine? How expensive is it to study dental medicine? Yeah, so dental medicine is not offered in all of these uh, universities. Uh, it's it's smaller program and also universities they usually admit approximately 30 students yeah. for uh, for the one intake so every year there is uh, both uh, general medicine dental medicine there's just one intake which is September okay there is no spring intake 
All right. So for dental medicine, it's offered in the Masalek University, then it's offered in Palatsk University, and then first uh, faculty of uh, medicine, that's Charles University, and finally the Pilsen uh, faculty, which is also part of the, of the Charles University. Okay. So in terms of fees, uh, let's say it starts from 14,000 euros okay. to 20,000 euros for one year, right. but it takes only uh, five years to complete. Ah, okay. So that's good, actually, I guess. If we compare that to Slovakia, I think in Slovakia it's six years. Exactly, of exactly. It's six years yeah. in Slovakia. So this dental medicine is like very different because I think in India it's four years, three or four years, something like that. Depends every country, uh, the duration of study. But Czech Republic is standard, I guess. It's like five years, so it should be fine. Yeah, I, I think the difference from India is that in India you complete the bachelor, yeah. but here you get automatically the doctor masters. of gen and general medicine or yeah, masters, so doctor of dental Aha, medicine. Okay. So with this, uh, uh, immediately you can start in hospital clinic, okay. not only Czech Republic, but also abroad. Oh, that's that's great actually. Like And all these programs are in English, just to clarify to our... Yes, so every time you have all the classes in English, uh, apart from the Czech uh, language, yeah. which you need to study for uh, two years, because then the clinical subjects uh, comes, come and you need then to uh, communicate with the patients in Czech, because not everyone yeah, speaks yeah, yeah, the, obviously. Uh, <laughs> English language. And uh, many, many of these universities, actually, many of the students right now are probably going to graduate from their high schools and planning to come abroad. Mm -hmm. These universities are looking for the students. So what are the general like application deadlines for each of these universities based mm -hmm. on the nationality? Yes, yeah, so they do not differentiate between uh, between the EU and non-EU uh, students. Okay. The, it's it's the same for uh, everyone. Right. The soonest deadline is for Charles University. That's um, that's end of April. It's it's right. really soon, um, but still there are like other options. So Palatsk University and uh, Maselik they have deadline two weeks before the entrance exam. And when is the entrance exam? So they have in different locations. Uh, for Palatsky, it's uh, even done uh, in online form. All right. So you can say from February to July. In most cases, they have entrance exams in uh, like so many countries. Let's say Maselik has in uh, Cyprus, India, UAE, France, Germany, Greece, Italy, Norway, Portugal, South Korea. So okay. all this information will be on the description, so you can check if your country is over there or a nearby country is there. You can go there and write the exams or do it online for a uh, case of like Masaryk, I think. Yes. So, yes, yes, yes. so uh, but what about? Uh, it's good that you mentioned about this uh, exam. So what are the requirements in terms of like background? Like, do you need physics, chemistry, mathematics, or something? like biology mm -hmm. this sort of background in your high school and how does this exam look like is it based on these subjects yeah so actually it's quite easy to register uh, what you need is to have completed secondary uh, education all right even it's possible because okay if I'm pursuing students and the deadline is April most probably I uh, I don't have the certificate yet yeah so it's possible to uh, submit the application which is very easy you do it online yeah and then later on you need before enrollment which is in September you need to sub uh, you you need to submit your academic academic documents All right. and a certification so okay. you do not need to have any special uh, subjects uh, in your secondary school but of course if you don't have good knowledge of biology chemistry even if you pass the entrance exam it can be really all right. difficult all right and uh, for the students who don't have background for example they have like combination you know there are many uh, boards nowadays in different countries like cambridge board international board and so on mm -hmm. which offers like a wide variety of combination like you can study economics with let's say physics and chemistry mm -hmm. but no biology something like this mm -hmm. so if some student is coming from this sort of a background does he have a way to get into the medical universities well so one option is to have private tutor or to study on your own to get the knowledge but is there a subject requirement in terms of like the admission or is it just like you are able to pass the admission test uh, like the the school can look at your secondary school All right. uh, because sometimes there is also oral part of the entrance exam so, so the verbal verbal exam. yes so they will ask you what subjects you had what did you uh, learn and so on uh, another option would be so there is like no requirement but it might help 
Yeah. But also, if you want, you can go to pre-medical um, studies. What is this pre-medical studies? So pre-medical studies, it's kind of uh, um, courses which are offered both by the private and public uh, institutions. All right. And you can uh, study in for five to ten months. Okay. You pay some tuition fees again. Uh, you don't get ECTS, but you get knowledge in uh, biology, chemistry, physics, mathematics. To get you up to the level. Yeah, exactly. And then you get uh, English and Czech language also. All right, all right. So these are the uh, courses which But are this brings me to one question that uh, these two, uh, like most of the students coming in will be internationals. Mm -hmm. Is it like mandatory to pass in that Czech exam? for example for the language when you're going for these pre-medical institutions uh, no basically no one speaks english or all uh, uh, sorry in czech yeah. uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah. uh, so there is like no entrance exam there could be some like motivational speech okay. but and uh, the, w w are these like separate universities from like uh, these general universities or uh, which are offering pre-medical or is it like a part of uh, Masarek or Charts and so on? Yes, yeah, so actually there are three uh, institutions, uh, so a public institution, so which offer also this pre-medical. Okay. So there's third faculty of medicine, Charles University is the cheapest one because it's only four and a half thousand euros. All right. Then you have uh, Institute of language preparatory uh, studies that's in Charles University and finally you have Masalik University uh, for six months that's right. 8,200 euros so we do this interview in 2023 and then you have also private uh, institutions uh, so they even offer like two semester courses you can even okay. get visas based on this uh, pre medical all right that's good. But that's like more expensive, let's say 10 to 18,000 euros, depends right. what you take. All right. And these are only the tuition fees, right? These are the tuition fees, like other expenses are not excluded. Okay. Uh, not uh, included. included. Uh, okay. And uh, and when someone is like taking this sort of pre-medical courses, are they like guaranteed a seat in uh, the main university? Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, they have to still sit for the entrance examination, right? Exactly. Exactly. All right. Um, like there are some exemptions when you can get um, uh, um, admission without entrance exam, but okay. it's it's uh, connecting mostly to your secondary school subjects and results, okay. not to the not uh, to uh, not to attendance. the pre-medical year yeah, and attendance. I understand. Okay, and what about the application process? How does a general application look like? Because look, I'm an engineering student and for us application was super easy. Let's go write your SOP, statement of purpose, your letter of recommendation, letter of motivation and all that and just do one like test or sort of interview and that's pretty much done for you. Mm -hmm. Like how does it look with the medical students? How is the application process and the application fees? Yeah, so application process is really easy. Uh, application fee is approximately just uh, 35 euros. Okay. Uh, you submit all documents online. Uh, all right. There's like maybe it will take you 10 to 20 minutes. Okay. You submit some documents. Uh, some universities might ask you for English certificate, but uh, it's not usual. Okay. Uh, and uh, then you get confirmation mail with uh, details of your entrance exam date and place. All right, all right. But uh, what about like, uh, I'm just uh, speaking from perspective of like uh, non-European students. Mm -hmm. If someone gets like a date in, I don't know, like uh, in uh, Europe or in Czech Republic, as you mentioned, to give, can they apply for a visa just to write the e exams? Yeah, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's possible. Like most probably it will be short-term touristic visas. All right. So then you would need to come back and apply uh, again for long-term so, yeah. um, Visas, visas or license permit uh, so but still like there are many agencies in different countries and if you are from these countries then it's easiest to just approach these agencies right. and to ask them for the help uh, because you can select it's not uh, you can okay either you are independent uh, uh, applicants then okay. they give you special dates just for independent applicants or you come with the agency okay. uh, if you come with the agency they will tell you okay you come to this date because and this place because it's the easiest for you all right and also some cases online is possible yeah so that that's that's nice because online might be an option for most of the students i guess if they're coming from abroad yes out of curiosity do we have any um, way 
without the exam to get in the universities yes yeah, so this is let's say quite exceptional way but there is option to uh, for the third faculty of medicine at Charles University up to 25 students out of 75 they can get admitted based on their A levels SAT IB but all these documents they need to be submitted before 15th of March okay which means that you cannot be a pursuing student like you need to have the results already with you from the previous year. All right, all right, all Based right. Based on that, for example, uh, for A levels, you need AAB, for SAT, you need 85 percentile, so yeah. like this. So it's good because uh, many of uh, many students are applying for UK, the US, and so on, and it's good if uh, because probably they already appeared for their SATs or A levels and so on. So it's mm. good like if they already have these uh, extra um, certificates or certification from these exams, then if you are considering about the fees if you are considering about living expenses and so on Czech Republic is much more affordable in those terms and also gives you admission easily you can and the degree is valid throughout the world so yeah if they are reconsidering of coming to um, uh, Czech Republic it's much easier for them yeah what about uh, like transfer students because there are some students who like want to transfer from other universities to ch some Czech universities so how does that work yeah so Transfer option is quite small niche for the Czech universities, let's All say right. compared to Slovakia. Okay. So uh, I would say like the three most favorable in terms of transfer students, it's um, Palack University, but they will recognize you only last three, three years and only marks A to D. Okay. And also you need to uh, ent pass the entrance exam before. All right. Then there is Radec Kralove, they recognize you subjects from the last seven years, which is quite okay. exceptional. But ag again, you need to pass the entrance exam and only then you will find out like what subjects are recognized and what not. Okay. And finally, there's th third faculty of medicine uh, in Prague. So you need to have uh, better than 2.5 uh, study average. Okay. But only... This is like in a GPA system? Well, A stands for 1, B stands for oh, 1.5, all right, all right. so E is, uh, M stands for 3. Okay. So you need to have better than 2.5, but maximum uh, which they accept the 7 students. Okay. So usually students from Czech Republic, they usually they transfer to Slovakia. All right. And what I got to know also to Croatia. All right, all right. We will make a separate video about Croatia as well, and we have a ton of videos uh, about medicine in uh, Slovakia. So do check our channel, study in Slovakia as well. Uh, and about we got insights about like how the studies go. Okay, what are like the subject requirements? What are the fees requirements? Mm -hmm. um, students are, will come, so they also need to stay somewhere, have food and everything. What about the accommodation in general from the university? Uh, the university they do offer the accommodation for international students. All right. Uh, the prices will vary, but um, there are different prices per night for single, double, triple room. Let's say for the single room in Prague, it will cost you around six to nine euros for one night. All right. Uh, double rooms, let's say five to six euros per night. And this is cheaper if it is like um, taken monthly or yearly. Uh, well, this is the price which they calculate. They do not mention any discounts. And if uh, you right. compare even with the some average prices of accommodation in private accommodation in Prague, this is still affordable. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is for sure. That is for sure. Uh, then in uh, Masaryk University in Brno, that's around six to eight uh, for euros per night per single room. Okay, that's okay. quite good. I would yeah, say. it is. It is quite affordable for sure for a single room. And uh, the students are mostly, you know, coming from like uh, abroad. Like most of our viewers as well, maybe from India, maybe from China, maybe around the globe from the US. So, what about their their visas? How does the visa process look? What are the documentation in general mm -hmm. uh, overview? Obviously, like uh, if our students are interested they will be contacting you so mr zawatsky's contact will be provided in the description do contact him but other than that give us some general insight about the visas and what type of visas are required yeah so there are two possible options for the students one option okay. is long-term uh, visas all right second option is long-term uh, national uh, uh, residence permit 
The difference is that the long-term visas are mostly for the students that would like to stay longer than three months. All right. But let's say for one year, like let's say this pre-medical, that would be quite okay. typical option for the long-term uh, visas. And then you have like long-term license permit, uh, that's for the other students. In Czech Republic, as far as I know, you can get this license permit just for one or two years. Okay. But then you need to go to extend. Okay, okay. Yes, in Slovakia, I get like for full, uh, full length of the study. Six years in case of uh, medicine, but in Czech Republic, you need to go and attend renew the, it. Uh, yeah, renewal. Okay. So uh, generally speaking, you will need some accommodation uh, confirmation, passport, picture, uh, bank decla declaration, okay. or um, sponsorship affidavit right. from your parents, let's say. Uh, then you need, of course, the uh, acceptance letter and uh, embassy can ask also for the police clearance certificate with, uh, with uh, apostille and uh, official stamp. Uh, okay. And uh, official stamp of the official translator. All right. All right. Yeah, that's like a general overview. So now if you are doing the procedure, it's good you contact some expert, Mr. Zawatsky, uh, for example, and uh, you can get all detailed insight. And uh, also there there are like veterinary and uh, pharmacy uh, studies available in Czech Republic. So walk us through like uh, what are the universities offering it? What's the fees range and so on? Yeah, so there are also universities uh, that offer pharmacy in, uh, in Czech Republic. So. There is Masaryk University in Brno, uh, so the pharmacy will take five years and in uh, Masaryk University it's 7,000 euros and at Hradec Kralove, which is again uh, a faculty of pharmacy, it's six, uh, 7,600 euros uh, for per one year. Okay. Uh, so again there is entrance exam from biology and chemistry in this case it has online form uh, so it's easier to attend compared to uh, medicine which is just just the like in most cases is just offline all right all right okay and when we speak about veterinary medicine that's offered just by the university of veterinary sciences in Brno which is the second biggest uh, city in uh, Czech Republic. So they have uh, 80 places and well, what is interesting, there is no application fee. Oh wow, that's nice. <laughs> so you so can give you a free application, give it a try. <laughs> so this uh, program will take six years totally and okay. it's uh, 7,600 euros for one year. Per year, okay. That's like for veterinary, I think it's quite affordable if you compare it even with other countries. So um, thank you, Mr. Zawatsky, for all this insight and uh, giving us insights about like studying medicine, pharma, as well as uh, veterinary dental medicine and how is it studying in Czech Republic. So thanks for all this insight. Do you want to add something else that our viewers need to know? Well, I would say the best uh, for them is to uh, think in ahead, in ahead, like which faculty do I wish to apply? All right. Because like these deadlines, let's say, compares to many other countries in uh, Europe, uh, they are quite, uh, they are quite soon. Um, also, you need to take into consideration that the success rates uh, of the applicants it's between 25 to 50 percent. Oh, all right. So, so you it need be competitive. It, it's better maybe to apply to multiple faculties and then decide for the. Yeah. It's better than to have more option if I'm accepted, but if I'm just accepted to one, then it's, yeah. it's even better. Like, uh, I would suggest, like, uh, give a free consultation because uh, contact Mr. Zawatsky, get a free consultation. He will give you insight based on your previous background and your profile, which are the universities and which other programs you should be going and what are the career scopes you're going to find from there. And then accordingly, you can apply to the universities and apply to the study programs or prepare yourself. So that would be the best to speak with an expert and then accordingly proceed. So thank you Mr. Zawatsky uh, for all this insight and thank you our viewers to, uh, for watching our video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you like the video, share it with uh, some pals who are planning to come to Slovakia, Czech Republic, in Europe in general to study medicine or anything related to it, our high school students. And please subscribe to our channel for study related content all around in Europe. So thanks so much for watching. See you next time. See you. Bye bye.